Hey, what's up everyone? I recently released a video about sampling your system sound or your desktop audio directly into Cubase. And one thing I learned from the comments on that video is that just because you can do something doesn't necessarily mean that you should. And there is perhaps an easier solution for sampling your desktop audio. And that's using one of two programs. The first is Audacity. And the second, and I think the most superior solution is using a different DAW called Reaper. And today I'm gonna to show you how to use both and get audio from your system directly on your hard drive. Let's go. So the first program I'm going to show you guys is Audacity, and that's available at audacityteam.org. It is a classic free open source cross-platform audio software, and it works great for recording your system sound because it has Wasapi loopback in it. And that's what we're looking for to record very easily the system sound. So if I download this from the Audacity website, install it the way that you'd normally install software and open it up, you'll see something like this. Now, in order to get this to record in loopback form, what you'll need to do is make sure that your sound system is Windows Wasapi. And then for your line in, you want to choose your interface's line out, and that will be loopback. Now your line out will also be your inter interface's line out. And it's just as easy as that. So I can start monitoring and play some system sound. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have to get hit record. Ass P -word. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass P word. Give me everything you've got for this wet ass P word. Beat it up, N word. Catch and you'll see if we go back to the home that it has recorded it perfectly. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass P word. Now, what's the problem with Audacity and why is it not as good as Reaper? Well, I'll show you right now. If we go to the folder where I recorded this too, and you just define that by where you save your project, the audio files are actually stored in Audacity data. And if you go into it, you realize that they're AU files. They're not actually WAV files. So in order to get this out of Audacity and into a DAW like Cubase for usage, what you'll have to do is export this file. And that's not that big a deal, but if you're trying to export multiple things or using this in a lot of different ways, it gets a bit cumbersome. And now I'll show you why Reaper is a much more efficient system for doing this. So you can download Reaper at reaper.fm and it's more or less free. It's free for an evaluation version, but it's also one of the cheapest DAWs out there that's fully featured. Um, a discounted license is 60 bucks, and that's what I have. I just have a discounted license because I don't use Reaper commercially, but I do mess around with it and I use it as a utility. So how does Reaper record your system sound? Almost a, exactly like Audacity. So let's open up Reaper right now. And I have a project that I've saved. So it's in this folder, Samples Reaper. And uh, I've saved the project. It's called samplecollector.pp. RPP. Now when you open Reaper, if you look in the upper right hand corner here, it'll basically be on your ASIO settings because it is a DAW, but you want to switch this to Wasapi. So you can either click on this upper right hand corner here and you'll get your audio preferences, or you can do it the hard way by going to, I believe it's wherever the preferences are. Options, options, preferences, and then you scroll down to audio. Oh, uh, yeah, audio device. Now, that's more easily um, accessed just through this upper bar here. You can just click on it and it'll open the audio device. You do not want to use ASIO. Just like in Audacity, you, you want to use Wasapi Loopback. And you'll have the mode be shared loopback. And it says caution because there is a huge risk of feedback if you try to use Reaper as a DAW and um, mic your in input while you're also using your output as your input. It can get very dicey. So let's add a track with Control T in Reaper. And in order to make sure that you don't have any issues, you can actually not send uh, to the master by clicking on this route button here and clicking on this master send and making sure that it's not sent. And then of course for your inputs, you'll want it in stereo because you're recording your system. So you'll do input stereo, input one, input two. Now if we arm this for recording, you'll see my voice. And why is that? Well, because these changes didn't get saved. It reverted to the ASIO in the upper right hand corner. So uh, what I forgot to do was actually Hit OK. Now you'll see the track is armed and Wasapi is the audio 
um, engine, and now I can play, I can hit record, and play my YouTube video. To charge, extra large and extra hard. Put this P word right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. Hop on top, I want to ride. I do a Kegel while it's inside. Spit in my mouth, look in my eyes. This P word is wet, come take a dive. Okay. It continued. So we have, and it plays back just fine, but it's not routed to the master, so I'll have to put it into a different DAW. So we have the sample recorder to Reaper, and here's the advantage of Reaper. If I go to the folder that this project is stored in, I see a wave version of the sample. So I can rename this to Ben Shapiro WAP, because that's what it is. And the cool thing is that if I have a different DAW open, like Cubase, I can just use my file explorer and drag and drop in the sample. We'll convert it to the project and then you'll see it plays just fine. To charge, extra large and extra hard. Put this P word right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. Hop on top, I want to ride. I do a Kegel while it's inside. Spit in my mouth, look in my eyes. This P word is wet, come take a dive. So you can use Reaper to collect your samples and just drag and drop them into uh, Cubase and you can rename them in your file explorer. And that seems like a much more simple and stable option than the method I showed you yesterday where you use Reastream to send your desktop audio from OBS into Cubase. So this is actually the method that I would advocate if you want to sample audio from your desktop and then get it into Cubase, I would say use Reaper as an intermediary program, record using the WASAPI loopback function within Reaper as your audio engine, set it up to record desktop audio, and then you can drag and drop the WAV files that you record in Reaper directly into your project in Cubase. So this has been a quick tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you have, feel free to like or subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. To charge, extra large and extra hard. Put this P word right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. Hop on top, I want to ride. I do a Kegel while it's inside. Spit in my mouth, look in my eyes. This P word is wet, come take a dive.